Now you've got your sample, I'm going to show you how to separate the animals from the soil. You can do this by using the heat and light of a lamp. This is a Tulgren apparatus. Soil animals are highly sensitive to desiccation and while they're escaping from the heat, they end up falling into the collecting container below. The great thing about this apparatus is that it's really easy to set up and can be made using everyday objects. All you need is a collecting container, a 1.5 litre plastic bottle, mesh and two gauze swabs and a lamp. Right, let's set up the equipment starting with a plastic bottle. You make your funnel by cutting the bottle in two. You need to make sure the sides are high enough to hold your sample. I'd say at least five centimetres. Place your collecting container inside the base of the bottle. Put the funnel over the top and then add the mesh. We've used aluminium fly wire, but any mesh that's rigid enough to support the sample will do. Now, spread the two layers of gauze over top. Your animals can still fall through these layers, but the soil stays behind. Before you go any further, you need to think about how you're going to collect your soil animals. I want to keep them alive, so I'm using a container with a mix of plaster of Paris and charcoal. If you're unsure how to make this, there's a recipe in the teacher's guide. As long as the base is kept damp, the soil animals should still be alive when the extraction is finished. The alternative is to preserve the animals in 70% ethanol. This prevents them from eating each other, but it does take away the fun of watching them run around. Now it's time to empty your soil sample into the funnel. Switch on the lamp and angle it directly over the funnel, around seven centimetres above the soil. You want the soil to reach about 30 to 35 degrees. It's a good idea to check this with a thermometer during your daily inspections. Over the next few days, soil animals will gradually fall into the collecting container. I'd recommend letting it run for three to five days. If you're worried about leaving the light unattended, just switch it off at the end of the day and run the extraction for longer. Let's take a look at an earlier extraction. If you want lots of different animals in your sample, then it's best to set up an extraction using compost or a bait bag. Here's the sort of thing you might find. In this sample, we've got springtails, mites and pseudoscorpions. It's always fun to see animals in their natural environment, so you could try looking at compost under the microscope. 